in this video I want to use the special triangle to find the exact value uh, of trig ratios. So let's start with the special triangle. So the special triangle is 30, 60, 90 triangle and 45, 45 uh, triangle. So let me draw a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So this is this is 90 degree, so let's say this is 60 degree, and this is 30 degree. So, uh, using the special triangle in your formula sheet, uh, this is the side opposite to 30 is 1, so hypotenuse should be 2, and this is root 3. And then if you draw a 45 degree right angle triangle, so this is 45 degrees. So this is an isosceles right angle triangle. So if this side is 1, this would also be 1. So the hypotenuse would be root 2. So let's start with sine 30. So well, sine 30 is opposite of hypotenuse. So for the opposite of 30 degrees is 1. So 1 over 2. Uh, cos 45, sorry, cos 30 would be adjacent of hypotenuse so for 30 degrees adjacent is root 3 over 2 so that will be root 3 over 2 uh, same way you can say sine 60 sine 60 for 60 you have to look at this angle so opposite of hypotenuse which is root 3 over 2 and so uh, cos 60 is 1 over 2 so for, by just looking at this, you can see, you can see that sine 30, sine 30 is equal to cos 60, okay? And you can also see sine 60 is equal to cos 30. So that is a very interesting result here. Yeah? What can, what is that you can see here? Yeah? So, well, you can see from this that uh, sine theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. Or you can also say cos theta is equal to sine 90 minus theta. You can also show this in a right angle triangle, so a general right angle triangle. So, using, if this is theta, this angle should be 90 minus theta. So, say if this is adjacent, which is x, hypotenuse is y, and, sorry, opposite is y, and hypotenuse is r, I can say, uh, I can say, uh, sine theta, sine theta is opposite of hypotenuse, which is y over r, and cos 90 minus theta is also y over r. So you can say sine theta is equal to sine theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. Okay, I want to do something else here. So if you draw a, u a unit circle, so let me drag this slightly up. So let's draw a unit circle. Okay, unit circle, that means the radius is 1. Okay, so if this is a unit circle, so let's draw an arbitrary triangle. So this is, radius is 1, and let's take an arbitrary point P. So this is 0, so this is, uh, this distance is X, and this distance is Y. So the coordinate you can understand is X comma Y. Now using Sokatoa, okay, so let's say this angle is theta. So using this th angle theta, cos theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So let me write it here. So in this triangle, cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. I said opposite over hypotenuse, sorry. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is x over 1, which is x. And sine theta 
sine theta is opposite of hypotenuse and hypotenuse is 1 so that is y so this coordinate x comma y can also be written as cos theta comma sine theta so you can say in place of x you can write sine theta and in place of y you can write sine theta okay so I'm going to draw let's go in this is the first quadrant so if you go in the fourth quadrant so let's draw a line like this so this angle if this angle is going to be theta if you go upwards it's theta this angle is going to be minus theta so we can say now this coordinate the coordinate of this point say this is uh, P so let's say this is Q the coordinate of this would be X comma so if this is Y so let me draw like this so that I'll so if this is Y so let me use a different color so if this is Y this you can understand is negative Y so this coordinate is X comma negative Y okay now in terms of this angle you can also say this is cos of minus theta comma sine of minus theta okay now if you look at the coordinate okay so that means cos of minus theta is equal to x and now what is x x is cos theta so you can say this is same as saying cos theta comma and this is minus y so it is minus sine theta so we have proved a very interesting result which is very useful so what have we proved we have said well cos of theta or cos of minus theta let me write it like this cos of minus theta is same as cos theta so if you want to explain this in an example so example will be cos of minus 30 degrees or minus 30 is same as cos 30 you can also explain this in words cos is positive in the first and the fourth quadrant because it is corresponding to x so minus theta is in the fourth quadrant uh, sorry I should have done I should have done like this this is minus so this is 30 and cos 30 I hope you know is root 3 over 2 so let me show you this on a calculator so if you go let me change this into degrees first okay so if you go cos 30 is root 3 over 2 which is 0.866 and if you go cos of minus 30 that should give you the same answer and minus 30 is same as cos 330 so that's same as cos 330 that's also this okay and same way you from this we have proved that sine of minus theta sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine theta okay so this is so you can t take an example cos sorry sine we are focusing on sine so we can say sine of minus 60 which is same as sine of 300 sine of minus 60 is same as sine 300 is minus sine 60 okay so sine 60 would be root 3 over 2 so let's show that sine of 300 would be minus 0 0.866 okay and uh, sine of minus 60 is also minus 0 0.866 okay so now if you take this is the fourth quadrant so this is this is the first quadrant this is the first quadrant this is the fourth quadrant 
Okay, so what can you talk say in the second quadrant? So this is the second quadrant, and this is the third quadrant. Same way using okay, so let me use white color. So this this coordinate, this is going to be minus x, and this is going to be so the coordinate of this point, say so let's say this is S or P Q R, this coordinate would be minus x comma y so using this result so that is same as minus cos theta comma sine theta and if you use this angle this angle is going to be theta okay so if this is going to be theta this is theta so this angle is going to be 180 minus theta. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So this angle is theta. So if you go from this axis, the positive arm of the x-axis, so this whole is one, this half a turn is 180 and this is theta. So this angle, so let me use a different color. This, I'm talking about this angle. This angle, let me use red color. So this angle, this angle is going to be 180 minus theta. So this point can also be referred as cos, cos 180 minus theta, comma sine 180 minus theta. So now we have proved a new result that I'll write the result here. Yeah, we can say cos 180 minus theta is equal to minus cos theta. And we can say sine 180 minus theta, sine 180 minus theta is equal to sine theta. So you can pick any value for theta. So let's say, let's say theta uh, let me okay, let me do it here. So if, if say theta is 10, so let's say theta is 10, this means cos 180 minus 10 is cos 170 is same as minus cos of 10. Okay, and sine 170 should be equal to sine of 10. Uh, I have written 180 here, yeah? so this should be theta. Again, cos 180 minus theta is equal to minus cos theta because uh, minus x corresponds to minus cos theta because x corresponds to cos theta and y corresponds to sine theta. So this point has also made a turn of 180 minus theta degree, so that point can also be referred as one cos 180 minus theta, comma sine 180 minus theta. So let me exp uh, let me show this one. You can take pick any value for theta and check this yourself. So let me show this on a calculator. So uh, okay, hopefully, yeah, this is good. So if we go, <coughs> let me cancel this. Cos 170 equal this and if you go minus no I want to delete this minus cos 10 should give you the same answer okay and then you can also go sine so this is 10 I made a sine 170 is equal to sine 10 sine 170 is 0 0.1736 and sine 10 should be the same value okay so let me put one more example so if theta if theta is 20 degrees I can say cos 180 minus 20 is cos 160 is same as minus cos of 20 and sine 160 is equal to sine of 20. 
so let me show you that again so if it go let me show you signs 160 sign 160 equal and and if you go sine of 20 that should be the same value 0 0.34 okay and finally or if you want to show this as an equation cos of 160 plus cos of 20 should be 0 so let's do that way cos of 160 plus cos of 20 should become 0 equal 0